Now in A part C we're given an improved model for the rate of change of the population. It's dp by dt equals lambda p cos lambda t. And we've got to solve this. So we need to separate the variables in the usual way. So that means put all the p's on one side and all the t's on the other. So that would be 1 over p dp equals lambda cos lambda t dt. And we have to integrate both sides and we get this equation. OK, so we need to integrate 1 over p then with respect to p, and that would be the natural log of p. Again, doesn't need any mod signs because p is a positive value. It represents the population, which has to be positive. Integrating lambda cos lambda t, lambda is a constant, that gives the lambda here, and the integral of cos lambda t would be 1 over lambda sine lambda t. And don't forget we have a constant of integration plus c. Now the lambdas cancel, okay, so now we have the natural log of p equals sine lambda t plus the constant. Now we need to work out what c is and in order to do that we can put in the conditions that we're told and that is that initially that's when t equals 0 p equaled p o so if we substitute this into this equation here which I'll call 2 now then we have sub into 2 we have natural log of P, which is now P O, equals sine of lambda times zero plus C. The sine of zero, because lambda times zero is going to be zero, is zero, and so C is equal to the natural log of P O. So C equals the natural log of P O. And if I sub this back into number two, I therefore have that the natural log of p equals the sine of lambda t plus c, which is the natural log of p o. Now I've got to rearrange this to make p the subject, so we bring the logs to one side, that's the left hand side, by subtracting natural log of p o from both sides, so we have the natural log of p minus the natural log of PO equals sine lambda t. Using the division rule now for logs, this becomes the natural log of P over PO, and that will equal sine lambda t. We'll just scroll this up. And what I need to do now is remove the natural log here by anti-logging both sides so that means that P over P O is equal to E to the power sine lambda T and all I need to do now is multiply both sides by P O and you have that P equals P O E to the sine lambda T and that brings us to the end then of part C.